From March 14th through April 27th, Tasted Kreitler will be exhibiting Berlin, photographs by Erwin Olaf. In 2011, I received in my home country, the Netherlands, the most important prize uh, for the arts, the state prize called the Johannes Vermeer Prize. And I had to spend 70% of that on a project. I had already for years a project in my mind to go to Berlin, to leave the studio. Here came the opportunity to go to a city that is intriguing me already for 10, 15 years. Because since the fall of the Berlin Wall, it's becoming more and more the center of the continent of Europe. My gut feeling says that we maybe are living in a new interbellum. I started to look at uh, the art and the photography of the interbellum period. So I looked at the surrealist painters, but also very important, the new objectivity painters, like you have uh, Otto Dix and George Crowes. And I'm a huge fan of uh, Otto Dix, and he inspires me already for now decades. So this time I could not uh, let it go without making a kind of homage towards his uh, work. So in this painting, you see uh, literally an, um, a quotation of his work, but then mirrored. Throughout my career, I photograph once in a while a self-portrait. Most of the time I do it uh, because I see my free work as uh, writing your uh, diary and uh, also to fight my own demons. Since uh, 1996, I know that I've inherited uh, lung emphysemia. Walking the stairs nowadays is uh, quite a uh, challenge, I will say so. Here I was, 40 locations, every time getting more and more exhausted. So when we were shooting in the Olympic Stadium, built for the Olympics in 1936, I thought, when I saw the Führertreppe, the stairs special created for Adolf Hitler. Uh, what the heck, I'm going to walk those stairs and make a self-portrait. So this was, again, a kind of little chapter in my life to fight my own demon. While photographing the Berlin series, uh, one idea popped up in my mind, and I wanted to, to talk also about size and preservation of photography nowadays. I had a backstage tour seven years ago in the Getty Museum in Los Angeles. And there I saw the most beautiful prints. And it turned out it were all Carmen prints. And later in Amsterdam, I was confronted with this technique again. And while I was shooting on Berlin, I thought, I want to do something with this technique. Because this technique uses the poorest and the most cheap ingredients, but for the most excellent results and the preservation of the pictures is wonderful. After 150 years, you still see the same details, the same amount of black in the pictures. So it took me a year, but now I displayed here a small amount of the result of this studying on the printing of carbon paper. View the works of Erwin Olaf at Hasted Kreitler from March 14th through April 27th.